What's up everybody, Too Fat to Tech here. Today I'm going to be talking about the apps that were introduced by Apple at the education event last week. And I'm going to go full on hands on on this. And I'm going to show you how you can use your Mac to make textbooks and your iPad to you know access these textbooks and access the iTunes uh, U app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually divide this um, video into three parts where they're going to be spread out between the I iBooks app the iTunes U app and also the iBooks author app on the Mac. So guys, hope you enjoy the video. Get your popcorn ready. This is going to be quite a long, you know, set of uh, videos, but it's very informative. You get a hands-on uh, experience on all these apps and I hope it helps you out. Thanks guys. Basically, there are three main things you have to look out for. One is iBooks, uh, the update, which has been introduced where you'll now see textbooks that are available for, you know, college students as well as K-12 students. And you'll also see uh, on, the, on your Macs, on the Mac App Store, you'll actually see the iBooks author. So that's actually for people, who authors who want to create books. Now, you not only can you just create textbooks, but also other types of books such as comics and uh, novels, etc. And also the iTunes U app, which is pretty cool as well. Uh, now, this is very good if, you know, you want to study overseas or if you're traveling around as well and you know you want everything to be accessed from one source which is your ipad you can use itunes u to actually do that it actually integ integrates your whole courses whole course there and uh, basically i'm gonna do three hands-on demos one is uh, on the ibooks app showing you a textbook there uh, the second is on the itunes u app and lastly i'm going to show you the iBooks author app on, on a Mac and basically the reason why textbooks uh, need to be electronic as suggested by Phil Sh uh, Shilla the VP of marketing for Apple is that you know normally textbooks are not very portable if you're carrying many of them they can be expensive and so, you know there's a lot of wear and tear going on there they're not interactive you can't really search words you have to actually flip through them or you know make bookmarks etc but they do have great content whereas if you're going to use textbooks on an iPad you know you just have to carry your iPad there it's portable you know and you know if you have a good sort of case it's durable as well very interactive because you can see videos pictures you know 3d and interactive models as I'll be showing you and you know you can literally search for anything in the book and also it can be updated to be always remain current so these are some of the points stressed by them and what I'm going to actually do now is go hands on and show you these three apps and some of the features of these three apps. All right, so what I'm going to do, do first is start with uh, the iBooks app. Now, this is available freely through the App Store. And then I'll quickly also show you the iTunes U app as well. Um, I'm mainly concentrated on the iBooks app because some of the features are really pretty useful for students who are going to be using textbooks on the iPad. So, I'm going to do is open up iBooks. Now, obviously, if you want to download new books and new content, you just go to the store and search for the textbook's name or any other title you want. I've downloaded a few, but the one I want to show you was the one with the interactive content. So it's actually called uh, Life on Earth. This is the one they actually use in the Apple Education event as well. Now, when you actually first open the book for the first time the or in the beginning, it starts with a video, with an intro video. And if you just want to skip it, just go right there. And that's actually the chapter by chapter layout. You can browse through the different content. And if you, let's say I want to go on to this page, I just tap on that. And it's such a pretty cool because you can play around with the pictures as well. You know, if you're bored in class, rather than drawing, you can do all, you know, a lot of crazy things using this. And if I actually rotate the iPad, um, it actually becomes a bit more better to access as well. So you can just read through the content as so. And if you want to skip to any other part or you want to see the interactive areas, just tap on it. The image is open. And this actually is showing you the different different components. 
I'm just gonna go buy a few things. How cool is that? You can open up uh, certain videos that are incorporated into the book as well to get some more information. And when you're done, just go back. I'll go back to So it is quite handy there. So a lot of areas where biology, just like the script, there are interactive videos. If you want to see. All you do is pinch in, pinch out, and you can actually see nucleosomes, chromosomes, and all you know in interactive ways, as you can see there. It's 3D nucleosome there. Play around with it. So many cool features. Now something else as well. If there's a word you're not sure what it means, you can just uh, highlight it and go to the dictionary it'll actually define it for you if there's certain parts of the notes you want to highlight you just drag your finger down as you can see i'm showing some parts in the camera as well the second uh, screen and you can highlight them using different colors you can underline them or you can also make a note about them so maybe study for exam and I'll show you how you can actually use this later on. That's the end of part one, guys. And uh, to watch part two and three, just click on your screen right now. I put up links to those videos. Thanks for watching.